this era at Superfly. And Andre Ward, as the fight begins, I come back to that three of his only losses. Estrada's been waiting to prove that he's not just among the best, but the... Two of those losses came in his first two professional fights. We talk about being filled. Hard left hand by Sora Misa. A win against Chocolatito, there was a feeling heading into the fight that Chocolatito may have been a shot fighter. Or may have been dominant at 108 and 112. Good straight right from Estrada. That Chocolatito made a statement. It was a, he's a scary kind of fight anyway. Good, quick, left hand. He's uh, no nonsense, like you said, and he's going to make you a... Estrada's a veteran. He knows. I have to acknowledge what Solon Visai does well so I can prepare physically, but also so Solon Visai is a more powerful guy. He knows about the big left hand. Take a few rounds to start really cooking. And Solon Visai is between rounds one and two. Estrada said to the people in his corner, this guy actually really feel. And when a fight... Juan Francisco Estrada and the black with gold. So far, Estrada, who came in body destroyer. It really is. Uh, uh, there are some interesting copy box statistics regarding Sora and Visa. In terms of numbers, doing, he's not over committing, leaving himself open for the big shots of Sora and Visa, even though he got hit with a few punching in range. He'll turn a left hook over. It's at this moment in this round, I'm not certain that at the end of the round. I'm gonna want to be his drop. I agree. I think so. And, and Sora Rumpusai didn't get him as often. But Sora Rumpusai had a good round in the first. Strat is up two to one. Hey, this is the same as in the last fight. We've got a very close fight. Intelligent judges with great backgrounds, as he has in previous fights, and it's working. He's landing three and a half body last seven fights coming in. So that's a big change to which Sora Visai is going to have to adjust. Sora Visai is fighting like he knows he has the power now that he wants to take as the fight progresses and he's been doing that all fight i think but soren visai no doubt and seconds to go in round number four big right hand visai comes on lands a hard left hand lands another hard left hand and takes one shot slowly but surely and rules it not a knockdown crowd doesn't like it he would love for estrada to get a knockdown point at some point and Home run hitter facing a fastball pitcher. The harder it comes in, the faster it goes out. Opportunities. And you can tell that that's Estrada's game plan. Like he wants. But yeah, I'd pay big money to have those guys. <laughs> Good straight left hand. To Hard left field. hand shot upstairs. Even if you're taking a puncher's punches well. That they're gonna fill 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 them in the latter part of the fight. Good Hard left right. hands by both fighters. Absolutely. Boy, there've been some real good shots upstairs exchanged for the schedule 12. The power puncher. Your song. Good right hand body shots by Soren Visa. That good little and disrupts Estrada without looking for the knockout on that shot. Even though. If Estrada wants to have success against a puncher like this, get mid-range and in close. Estrada has a great super flop. They weighed in under 115 pounds. But tonight, Inria is a skilled boxing featherweight. She said he just outboxed Estrada for about a 30-second stretch in the box. middle of the ring. Yeah. In fact, we're about to go sir. a little something different. Estrada into leading at times and actually being the counter puncher. One, two. Soren Visai took the half step back. Estrada led to a quick one two. With Marco Antonio Barrera. And Soren Visai is showing a. How, when you refine the technique of a guy with this much power, it becomes a very difficult proposition. Andre, he hasn't committed any great sins that I can see, and yet he seems to be losing. He hasn't been knocked down. I'm sure he's been buzzed several times. People would have paid attention when he had 
three losses and a draw in his first five fight. A uh, controversial decision over Chocolatito. Oh. And Andre, to your point, seems to be getting a little closer with the range. And beating Soren on the B side of the punch. From the trainer between rounds, Estrada has paid attention. It's the difference, and it's coming just in time. Still it's is. getting closer. Yes. Still is. First round, he's won in a while. That he's going to try to win the fight. Oh. Big shot from Soren B side. Taking well from it. Puncher also has the advantage in terms of scoring. Because when judges don't give him the same kind of credit as when the puncher is back one or once or twice, even if he's been out punched. And then what happens? That's what Estrada is finding out in this round. Short body shot from Estrada right there. Counter right and left hook. Real good round from Estrada. Compared to want a guy like Estrada. Dangerous. There's no doubt that Estrada has to be alert for this whole fight. Estrada has to keep closing the distance. Baron Morales fights one guy landed, the other guy was desperate. Island agreements that you have to make with yourself from round to round that nobody else isn't worth it. What if he lands and I get knocked out cold? You gotta find and summon the strength and the wherewithal to get your... Just that, because th just that over the last 30 seconds. Okay. I like that kind of stuff. He was the harder hitter, and, and Juan Francisco Estrada wanted to trade with him in the middle of the round. So, anyway, it's getting a little bit close. Rounds to three. Swiss gets so run beside And I guess, Max, what you would say is that you belong beside for a couple of the straight left hands, hands to the body. Now it goes back upstairs of the fight. They're back into the situation where Estrada is in that middle range distance. His eyes are puffy. When he gets hit, his head is rattling a little bit more. Oh, big right hand. Huge oh. right hand by Soron Bisai uh, in the 10th round, giving him the round. Probably. Could have easily. I mean, I thought Soron Bisai probably won that round anyway. Yeah, it was a big shot, too. Whether he had or not, and he's been able to exploit this throughout the fight. Tonight, good shot from Soron Bisai. Down the middle. The highest level of toughness in boxing because it requires not only playing to the crowd, and that's really the toughest kind of fighter, Andre. You were example for a while in the sport. Well, those are the guys that you see last a long time in the sport. Hard left hand by Sorung Bisai. Another combination from Sorung Bisai. Strada, I think, is going to have to come up with something dramatic here. Rounds one. And Harold has him with seven. Good right hand. But that was set up from two good shots to the body. Both, uh, at both your scorecard, Max, good and your scorecard are unofficial. And Soren Bisai goes back in. Seeking to get 115 pounds. If either fighter has the edge, it would probably be the more powerful Soren Bisai, who has been firing sledgehammer to come down the stretch. Soron Visai as the guy in the lead because of his big power. If you just look at their, the more effective punches. This is a close fight. Hard right hand by Estrada. Soron Visai feels the new dance of Soron Visai landing there. Estrada firing again with the right hand. Looking for one more big shot. Crowd both fighters selling out in the center of the ring. Tremendous action. He's hanging right there with him. He, well, he's hanging there and he's landing big bombs, but he's the worst for the wear this round. I agree with that. And neither fighter does a lot of talking in the beginning, you know, before the fight. But when they get in the ring, they... 20 more seconds. That's round 12. They still Estrada. Give everything they've got in the closing three minutes of this round. Unbelievable. Estrada did a lot in that... And still, WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, three second, Soren Bisai. A través de Boxa Seca, sí, el del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo entre Soren Bisai y el mexicano de Puerto Peñasco, señora Juan Francisco Estrada. Y ahí está el trabajo del Gallo Estrada, técnico al 100%, fino y puro en su trabajo de ataque, escondiéndose y entrando y saliendo, generando contactos con un Sorrum Bisay que salió de derecho Lama. Del round 1 al round 8, toda la pelea fue para el Gallo Estrada, fue caminando paso tras paso, round tras round, ganó todas las vueltas y esto parecía una paliza. 
eh, sin remedio para Zorro Misay. No obstante, el tailandés se reaccionó como pudo, hizo mejor las cosas a partir del noveno y hasta el final de la pelea para llegar a un final más o menos cercano en las tarjetas de los jueces que pudo eh, hacer peligrar una victoria muy merecida del gallo Estrada. Esa hazaña, esa hazaña, señores. Este gallo no hacía tanto sobre un ring de boxeo desde hace por lo menos seis años. Hoy es campeón del mundo y lo merece. Sí, parece que por algún momento el gallo Estrada le cede la posibilidad a Son Rubisay cuando se cambie de zurdo. Y ahí cambian las cosas. Su Son Rubisay que empezó a empujarlo, a sacarlo de su eje de ataque, que era el centro del cuadrilátero. Pero poco a poco el gallo Estrada también empezó a manejar los ganchos al cuerpo. Esa guadaña de izquierda que maneja de manera perfecta. Y un Son Rubisay que terminaba por la caída de Juan Francisco el gallo Estrada por un golpe abajo que el referee terminó por considerar un golpe bajo dándole tiempo de recuperación al gallo Estrada. Pelea cerrada en la última parte, Lama. Eh, sí, fue cam es campeón del mundo el gallo Estrada, señores. Lo merece, es un año de sorpresas buenas, gratas, enormes para el boxeo mexicano que sigue caminando y consigue cosas como lo que esta noche parecía muy difícil y se logró. Cerebral por algún momento y la exigencia del gran campeón mexicano para el gallo Estrada para pegar con más poder. Y un rumbisay que en ese momento justamente le pegaba abajo al gallo Estrada. Pero vean el trabajo de Juan Francisco, tratando de meterse en una zona media, donde Zorrumbisay parecía no tenía camino, pero poco a poco empezó a recortar del ring, a pegar con potencia, a meter la zurda, e hizo daño por algunos momentos en Juan Francisco. Tuvo la capacidad de mantenerse y de pegar para tratar de que no le sacaran el episodio. Es cierto, como suele pasar por algunos momentos, eh, se pierde el control eh, de algunos episodios a Supermosca del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo, y lo vio usted a través de Boxasteca 7, la